when you are extremely happy or when you are extremely sad or maybe when you are just chopping onions you shed tears also to be honest i am sure all of you must have tasted these tears to my surprise this brings me to a question that why do our tears have that taste why are our tears salty well before we jump to the answer of that question let's first understand that what are tears are exactly made of and what are the types of tears yes you heard me right there are different types of tears human eyes are one amongst the most striking adaptations of our body not only helping us see but also the ways our eyes keep themselves safe is also very remarkable we blink a lot so that our eyes do not get dry and it is very important for us to keep our eyes moist each time we close our eyelids a thin layer of lacrimal fluid is spread over the surface of the eye these are the first type of tears and are called as basal tears basal tears are composed of water lipids mucin immunoglobulins sodium and potassium among other substances including a range of antioxidants like ascorbate and urate many of these components of basal tears are of the purpose to protect the eye from foreign pathogens and bacterial contaminations the second type of tears are called as reflex tears and as the name implies they form in response to an intense external stimuli if you are chopping onions or caught in a storm by yawning or perhaps you have just touched your eye after slicing a pepper these reflex tears form to flush out the offending stimuli the irritants that can trigger such reflex tears may also do so through the mucous membranes the nose or mouth all of which are linked through the same defensive mechanism of tears for rapid cleansing The final and the last type of tears are called psychic tears and are the tears generated through intense emotional experiences like happiness, grief, exhaustion, etc. You will be amazed to know that the pathway by which these emotional tears are generated is quite different and interesting. It is controlled by the limbic system of the brain which affects the parasympathetic nervous system. releasing neurotransmitters that trigger the lacrimal gland to produce tears it is not just the pathway of these tears which is different but the composition of these tears is also different when compared to basal and reflex tears there is a much higher concentration of protein based hormones as well as a mild analgesic substance leucine encephalin a natural painkiller This says that not all the tears are same. If we look under a microscope, we'll be able to identify the real emotional tears after the breakup or they're just crocodile tears which are just not that real. Now we come to the answer of the big question that why are tears salty? As mentioned, basal tears do contain potassium and sodium, two of the most known important electrolytes that we have in our body. For those who don't know electrolytes are natural salts that the body requires for nervous system function and the transfer of information between different nerve cells. The most important electrolytes or the salts that we have in the body include potassium, sodium, calcium, bicarbonate, phosphate and magnesium amongst others. When we stick out our tongue and taste a bit of salt in our tears, it demonstrates just how sensitive our taste really is. Roughly 98% of tears are made of pure water while the remaining 2% contain all the other substances and compounds that we just explained about. Yet, even with such low level of salinity, our tears make the environment of our eyes unpleasant and hostile for bacterial growth. Our tears are used most often as an extension of our immune system to keep our eyes safe, healthy and fine. Besides, Human body has nearly 250 grams of salt in our body at all the times. So it makes sense that this very natural fluid will also have some concentration of salt. The water in our body is inherently salty and it would require a lot of cellular energy to ensure that our tears were 100% pure water. 
Few other salts and ions found in tears helps in lubrication, protection and healing processes within the eye. Other than the fact that we have different types of tears, it is amazing to know that how a body can find the exact way to produce these tears. Human body just amaze me. Until next time, I hope you have liked this video. If you have any more such kind of questions, do comment us and we'll surely answer them in our next video. And yes, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss the updates about these interesting videos. Till then, keep watching, keep learning and follow your curiosity. Thank you.